Hello, hello, hello. Uh, why did I have to get so close to the mic for- Oh, never mind. Uh, do I have to turn it up again? Hmm. I thought eight decibels was good enough. Ten. Okay. I think the volume is good. Maybe. I still have to get really close to this mic. I still have to get so close to it for it to actually properly work. Um. Right, so. Today we're going to be playing Papa's Freezeria. Where is this? Window capture? No, that's Suica Gaming. I think that's Freddy's iPad. You know, I should really have these things prepared. Papa's Freezeria. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's... Let's put this at a more... Oh, oh, no, I don't want to move myself. I want to move this thing. Yeah. Alright. Um... Uh, I'll find a way to... Not show the ad... On that side. Or the ad on that side. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Is it? Yay, okay. <laughs> Since when did the ads get so big? Right, one sec. I keep putting this off, so I'm just going to Do something. So go text. I keep putting it off, and I know if I just keep putting it off, it just will not work. So yeah. What do I have? Oh, wait. Font. I had like, or is it? It was something. One sec. Uh, here we go. No. Wrong one. Uh, here. This one? No. How about this one? This one looks correct. Again, I'm doing this at a terrible time. I understand that. Um, however... I know if I don't, I will end up not doing it ever, and I think that's a little bit worse. Prince box. What's this? Always this raid. Move the this raid. Uh, what's this? Our latest cheer. Yeah. Um, this is boring. Sorry, I should maybe do this at a different time. But I've decided not to, apparently. So here we are. Okay. Good enough, aside from the no data next to me. We're just going to conveniently move that out. And we are back. All right. Papa's freezing rear time. Um, here's our desktop audio. Turn it up. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we were ranked 10 last time we played. All right. Continue payday in five days. Hugo. This one's called Hugo. Okay, what's this lady called? Oh, and I forgot that, <laughs> forgot that we had these decorations too. 
I'll have to get back into the rhythm of like actually playing this. Build large, we have an automatic one here. Hey, it's not being laggy. It's not being laggy. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. And this one is a basic fish again. Another customer. A uh, mix station. Okay, those are gonna take a little bit, so let's just take Matt's order. Matt is a good customer, and now he will give us more money. Yay. Good. And now we can build this one. It's a large cup. We've got that, and then we've got these little Reese's peanut butter cups. And vanilla. Again, I still have no idea why vanilla is an ice cream cone. That's just called ice cream. Uh, let's go and top this a little bit just before we serve that customer. We'll just go and finish topping it. Honestly, this looks delicious. Oh shoot. Oh well, somebody's gonna get a bit overmixed Sunday, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's just a bit overmixed, see? Finish. Uh, and that's number one. We always start out with one um coin, and then we gain so many. Mixing station, that still looks fine. Uh, we haven't started building this one yet, so let's go medium and two strawberry again. Right. How many customers do we get in a day? Uh, normal mix. Get you. And then we need to top this one. Looks fast enough. It's one of the more complicated orders, so. We're just gonna leave that customer that just came in hanging for a bit while we um, get all of these finished up. Ooh. Yeah, um, did we miss one of her toppings? Why was the topping station so bad? Oh well. Oh, no, no, no. Um, wait, the topping station was bad and the mixing station was bad. Oh god, both of them are bad. Okay, large cup for this one. Blueberry and vanilla cake. Mix station is done. Let's go build this one. I'm switching between like 500 Sundays. We're leaving two customers waiting. Here we go. Take your order. Doen, the one who I don't know how to pronounce. And he likes mint with his sundae, with a lot of Oreos. I mean, creamier, sorry. Sorry, copyright issues. Oh, come on, another customer. I don't want another customer. It's a closer, of course it's a closer. Where is that? Okay, let's just order this. Okay, 
three, large cup. Um, we've got a this thingy. We've got a, we've got a this. We've got a this. And a cherry. We have not missed anything. Oh, someone's gonna get something a little bit overmixed. Hey, look, two star customer, nine dollars. Good. Give us that money. Uh, so, oh, we still have three orders we haven't made. Oh god. Okay, let's build those first. Um, we've got a medium, medium, large. This one's creamier mint, uh, cookie bits, and chocolate and strawberry and chocolate. I am reading all of these out while doing these slider things and that's stressing me out. Okay, this one wants medium mix and we got a medium with cookie bits and chocolate. Cookie bits, chocolate bits, I mean syrup, I mean mix, whatever you call it. And this one's a normal mix as well, and then a large with strawberry and chocolate. Strawberry. Chocolate. Send them all off to mixing, and then we'll go ahead and put the toppings on this one. Banana. Finish. Our tip jar is so full. Yeah, she's been waiting for a while. I don't blame her. Uh, whipped cream. Strawberry sprinkles. Cherry. You know, I'm working on my live 2D right now, my live 2D model, and um, I'm a bit afraid because I always stream. Uh, let's just say I have... How do I say this? I usually, like, um, I don't make a lot of expressions while I stream particularly. Or not, at least I don't think, because like with live 2D models, they're not always the best at tracking your face. Obviously, you, you can make like edits in uh, VTuber, VTube Studios little settings to make them better and more fitting for you. But in the end, it's not going to always track all of your expressions exactly perfectly. We're getting a lot of money today from all of these star customers. Um, so, yeah. So... If you're doing like live 2D, if you want to be actually really expressive, you have to one, edit like the model in VTube Studio a lot. Um, and like edit the model settings. Don't edit the model yourself if you don't know how to rig. Uh, you could mess up your entire rigging. I did not learn that the hard way, somebody else did. So then, um, if you actually want to be really expressive, number one is edit the settings. Number two is you have to be like very exaggerated with your expressions yourself. Like for example, if you want to smile, you can't just smile normally. You, you have to smile extra hard to get your model to actually really pick that up. And I'm not sure if I'm very good at it yet. I'm not sure if I'm really good at um <laughs> actually getting those e um, emotions, so I might be practicing. Oh, why is it lagging now? Oh, never mind, it's not anymore. Yeah, waiting was not good. Topping was decent, I guess, considering it's kind of the harder one to get right. Hey, but we leveled up. And today's tips were 60 bucks. That's a lot. Let's see. Furniture shop, what can we buy? Whew. Waiting score, all of these improve the waiting score. I'm just gonna see if there's anything that's like special that improves like the um other scores before I start doing the waiting score ones. Waiting score, waiting score. 
the Romano family will love this tribute. Waiting plus Romano tips. Is this like a family of rich people? They look rich. Uh, let's see. Waiting score, topping score, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I definitely need a um, topping score. I saw, I saw those ones, hold on. Okay. Um. Is this just like the syrup that you pour into the thing? Into the sundae? Before it's mixed. Okay, then we probably should get this. This. We don't have banana or sherbet yet, so we'll just pick, purchase these and we've got no money anyways. Decorate the lobby. Oh, this will be full. This will be a very full lobby indeed. What if we do this? Can the customers actually like walk in? Wait, no, this is bothering me. But da back to game. Continue. Payday in four days. There is an ad. Just turning screen while the ad plays. Oh, we got shaved mints. What's shaved mints? Those sound a little bit weird. We need to buy stuff that improves the waiting score next time that we um, get to buy some stuff. Or else we are going to absolutely have so much trouble. Oh shoot. No, it lagged. Oh my god. There was a little bit of lag just on the screen there and it made it look like it was in the green. Okay, let's go ahead and just get a medium ready because I feel like a customer might walk in requesting a medium. Dolan. I'm getting yours ready already, Dolan. I know exactly what you want. And he added shaved mints this time. He really likes mints. For some reason, he really likes mints and creamios. Uh, let's grab a medium there. And if the next customer that walks in doesn't want medium, we'll just we'll just um trash it and get a large instead. Oh, that just whizzed away. Yes, yeah, small. She wants a small. Okay. We'll grab a small. I'm excited to see um, how popular the shaved mints are going to be. This feels like I'm running Dairy Queen. I'm not even American and I know Dairy Queen. I think it's just because of those Dairy Queen TikToks. Yeah, TikTok's rotting my brain a bit. Just a little. Utah. Oh well, somebody's gonna get theirs a little bit overmixed. They'll be fine. Just a little. It's Dolan's anyway. Who likes Dolan? Nobody likes Dolan. I have such severe shade on um on some of the customers, I swear. I am not a good um, waitress. That customer, you can wait. Yay. Yeah, the, the waiting scores are really, like, putting it down now. They're 
gradually, gradually, um, they're gonna gradually sink like further and further and further. And that is not good. Oh, I forgot to apply it in the same order. I just really wanted to see what the mint flakes look like. I hope he doesn't mind. We got two customers now. Yeah, he's fine with it. Take order Wally. I remember Wally. Oh, somebody else is gonna get there's a little overmixed. Um Right. Well that's okay. Uh, and this guy. Medium and large. Oh shoot. I'm trying to get better at, um, actually like having it um what was I what was I gonna say oh my god I'm trying to get better at um hitting it correctly like in the fast stage oh yeah you see I did that well and I did that decent as well a lot of people are waiting come on finish ordering Don't want to see that closer. Uh, a cherry in the middle, that and that. Burn, and then we have this one. Yeah, we really need some of those um improves waiting score little things. Uh, what's this? Oh, chocolate. And then sprinkles and then a cherry. If I had to order, I would... Mm. I'd, I'd have a lot of chocolate. I like chocolate. Hello! Welcome back! Instead of me being a night guard now, I'm a waitress. Messing up people's orders and leaving customers lining up waiting to be served. This guy's here. Some drizzle. Marty. Marty, yes. I totally didn't forget Marty's name. I remember Marty's name all the time. I haven't even started building that one. Oh, goodness. Okay, we'll build these ones and I'll walk you guys through what I would order. Build. I would probably take a medium cup. Um, I would... Mmm. I would take marshmallows, to be honest, at this stage. The mixables. Have it be marshmallows, and then I would choose chocolate. Uh, I'd have it mixed normal too, probably. Hey, see, I didn't have to wait for it to slow down. And then the toppings... Uh, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, 
chocolate chips, sprinkles, a cherry. I can probably make this one speed up a bit. Yesterday I didn't see your trimmer because I went to play soccer and I arrived tired, but I'm already playing Five Nights at Freddy's. It's okay, you don't have to um you don't have to always show up to every single one of my streams and stuff like that. It's not like a requirement. I don't require people to always be at my streams or give me money or whatever. It's okay, honestly. I don't even do this as like a proper full-time job that I'm relying on to get any kind of income. I consider it a part-time job just because of how long it takes me to do things. I mean, it's like a requirement to spend like a couple hours religiously every week, so I would consider it a job, but it's not something that I'm trying to like fund my livelihood with. I am I am a child, I do not have a livelihood. Five Nights at Freddy's is a good game. Yeah, we get this. Cherry and banana. Finish. I mean, 83 points from a closer is pretty good. Yeah, we definitely need help in the waiting area because that's the only one really, like, letting us really far down. Uh, total tips. Oh, do we have that much? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. The more expensive it is, would it would it increase the waiting score more? We can butter up the food critic. Uh, promote the surf shack next door, or the cruise ship. You know what? Why not both? Um, we could have a large table. Let's have a large table. Purchase. Please stop. I even feel like turning on Twitch at this time. It's already late at night. But hey, hey, I followed you on TikTok. Please follow me if you want. Oh, thank you for following me on TikTok. Um, I don't usually do like strict follow backs, but I'll check out your content if you've got any. And if it's cool, I'll go and follow. I don't, I'm not usually very active on TikTok, like both as a, both as a viewer and as a creator. So I'm not really following anybody, I think. Let me check actually. Oh yeah, I do have two followers. Oh, and you liked a bunch of my videos. Thank you. Oh wow, you're following a lot of people. <laughs> well, thank you for the support. Hold on, let me, give me a second. Let me decorate this lobby. Uh, thank you for the support. Honestly, I don't spend a lot of time on my TikTok specifically, so I wasn't really expecting stuff like that. I'm mainly promoting my Twitch, YouTube. Yeah, I'm mainly promoting Twitch and YouTube. A large table for you to wait. Back to game. Let's hope this improves my waiting score. My waiting score previously was 88%. So I will probably be at roughly the same level now. So let's see. Um, so let's see. Yeah, hold on. Um, I'll probably be at around the same level now, so let's see if this actually improves my waiting score. Like, also by how much. Mm. 
this guy. Little peanut butter cups. Chocolate. What's your order? Oh, you order a small. With both strawberries, I think. Is it? One question. Nobody has, no one has donated to you. If they haven't donated to you, I'm going to donate a little, but it's money from work. But hey, you'll have your first donation. Oh, you don't have to. Um, I actually have had six subscribers and I think two people have used bits. I think it's something like that. Honestly, it's been a while since that one. So honestly, you don't, you don't need to, um, spend your own money to try and like get me my first donation but if you want to honestly just don't feel like um you have to just because like oh look at this streamer working hard and she's not getting any donations i it doesn't matter honestly i don't have my own like proper donation page i don't use streamlabs for donations etc i just take stuff um, from Twitch because again this is not a job that I'm like trying to earn all of my money from you know it's it's not a job that's like um, it's trying to it's like putting food on my plate if they have donated to you oh wait yeah language barrier hold on one second I need to be more considerate about the language barriers. Let me just quickly put this one on. Hey, I'm getting really good at this. Right. Yes, here you go. I scrolled down a bit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Topping. Let's just get this order done. Uh, cherry. I wonder what these two little topping bits that we haven't um, opened up yet contain. Hey look! Look at the waiting score! It's improving! I'll take your order. First I want to know what your largest donation was to overcome it. Oh that's so sweet. Um, okay one second. The highest amount I've gotten from bits is uh, 3 USD, 300 bits. But again, you seriously don't need to do that. Oh, oops.
No, because you ser you seriously. You seriously don't need to do that, okay? You seriously, you don't have to donate. You don't have to, okay? Just a job for me that I do for fun. It's honestly, you don't have to. Please don't feel pressured to. Okay, that's all you can play, friend. Oh, I'm coming, Parame. Okay, sorry, that might be a lost in translation thing. Um, I'm not sure that I'm understanding you right now. Oh, do you mean, um, okay, that's all the questions you can play your game? Okay, I think, I, f I, I think you meant that, I think. Maybe. Oh, oops. Okay, well. I've added two bananas already, so there we go. I, I don't know what the I'm coming parame is supposed to mean, but, um, I'm just gonna guess it's a good thing. Woohoo. No, sorry, I seriously don't know. <laughs> I feel so awkward at times like this. And so stupid at times like this. No, I don't need this again. How much is 500 bits in your country? Um... I don't know. Hold on. I need to be more on top of this. Like, for real. 500 bits. Like for real. Uh, 12 bucks Australian money. I'll type it out in chat for you. This one. Oh, it's just that and cherry. Five hundred bits would be five US dollars. Oh shoot, I blended it at the wrong level. Oh my god. Oh, I have to trash this one. Let's just take these orders. Oh my god. Oh well, their waiting scores are gonna be decent. Very little. Does your country suffer from inflation or not? Because it's a little good for me. Um. I'm not sure how qualified I am to speak about Australia's inflation. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't keep track of inflation. Uh, strawberry, strawberry. Twitch did make like a lot of um Twitch did make a lot of pricing changes to bits. Some countries got cheaper bits, some countries got more expensive bits. It's not giving me the little bonus anymore for the beginning Sunday bit where it's guaranteed to always get it perfect. Uh, 
this. And this, and then we can click finish, and then the next one can is gonna be a bit over mixed, but it's okay. The waiting score is very decent, com considering how long I've taken to do the order. Uh, chocolate chips, banana. Honestly, everyone's been so kind to me since I debuted. Like, literally everyone. Look at that waiting score, it's really good. Considering, um, considering the time I took. Oh, I took my sweet time making this. I took my sweet time making all of these. And I left a bunch of customers waiting. I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm gonna need a little more help, um... <laughs> In the in the waiting score area. Hey, we're getting monies. Okay. Waiting scores are slowly improving because I'm serving the customers faster. Grammy eats fast, just like num num. Oh, nine two points from a closer. That's good. In Mexico, it is uh, 11 pesos for 12 Australian pesos. Do you mean dollars? Uh, because Australia doesn't use pesos. I'm not sure. It is very cheap. It even surprises me. And if your country has become expensive for you, I don't know much about inflation, but I do see prices rising in Australia. So yeah, Twitch made some countries bits cheaper or more expensive than others to account for differences in uh, value etc yeah how much money do we have 81 bucks we're gonna go and buy more to increase our waiting score as much as possible because we are gonna need a lot of help. And I mean a lot of help. We've got 13 bucks, can I buy anything? I don't think so, but might as well try. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Okay, but hey, we can increase more of our waiting scores. Woo. We are relying completely on this. We're going full on, um, weird, I think, at this point. At the start, we try to arrange our wall normally. Now we're just going full on, um, crazy. I'm going to watch the videos of Australia about politics and currency because it is a very visited country to be experiencing inflation. I know that there are bad presidents with the ones we have here, but hey, in Mexico, it is still very expensive. Okay, you do that. I don't think I I don't think I'm qualified to comment any more about the political situation there. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to get away from the ads. Um, I don't think. 
that um, I'm qualified to comment any more on the political situation than I already have. There's an ad on Cool Math Games, so I'm just going to skip that, and now I can go back to gameplay. And we have a new customer, truck- <gasps> New menu item, pineapple, okay. That's one of the things we've been missing. Oh, and that's the uh, um, Roman Romano family or something. Well, we're gonna have an increase to pineapple. I wonder how our scores would be if we didn't have this. We would be like down in the ground. Our business would be failing. Everything would be failing. Chuck wants stuff chunky. You see, it's meant to give that. It didn't before. Okay, so we still have just one more, one more mixer ball to unlock. And two more syrups. Gosh, I feel old already. Well, well, I'm going to sleep now because it's already late at night and tomorrow I'm going to train and play. Please talk to me and follow me on TikTok, please. Uh, adios. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see, I'll see. I don't usually just do follow-backs, but yeah. Goodbye, good night, get a good night's sleep. We get money for automatic stuff. Buenas noches. I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. After this order, we're gonna try and decorate this order. Strawberry. Banana. Banana. The whipped cream is being weird. And then another cherry. Yay! We are honestly barely being kept alive by our many posters. We're waiting for this. Okay. And now we've got to do this one's toppings. While we still have the time to, that customer can just wait for a little bit. Hey, this is a pretty Sunday. This is a beautiful Sunday. We love this. If I don't get like a very big tip for this, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. Topping station, very high. Two customers now. Okay, I'll take your order. Edna. Edna, you're one star off from giving us a lot of your money. And this lady. She's always like very simple with her orders, huh? isn't she? Yeah. Always very simple. Right, so what do we have on here right now? Alright, let's grab two small cups and fill them up. We've got 
Marshmallow and mint, blueberry and vanilla. Marshmallow, mint, uh, chunky, blueberry, vanilla and regular. Blueberry, vanilla at regular. Now we go and top this one. Just move it, you just move it around a little bit and then it'll be fine. Uh, this chocolate syrup. Sprinkles. Cherry, cherry, cherry. Three cherries kind of ruins the look a bit, I feel like. Uh, and then we can decorate this one and that one and that one, but first we have to take these people's orders. Tony. Tony's an old guest. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna, um, leave the clothes over there. Sorry. Bye, ma'am. Just because this order is gonna be so easy to finish and I don't want to delay the entire rest of the orders, um, just for this. Star customer. Oh my god! We got our first- ad is that, is that our first absolute perfect? It might be our first absolute perfect. Well, it makes sense that we got our first absolute perfect on a customer whose order is very simple. Oh my god, we got another perfect! Is it just because we didn't spill any? Uh, cherry. Oh my god, it's three perfects in a row. And they're all on star customer too. We're getting so much money. Let's take the closest order then. Why is she so mean? She just insists on being like so mean. Doesn't she know it's rude to be mean? Oh, sorry, Tony. Or Matt, or whatever your name was. I think your name was Tony, because Matt's the guy with, um... Matt, Matt's the other guy with, like, the blue shirt or something. Oh, oops. Marshmallow, chocolate. Here we go, and let's speed this one up as much as possible. What what happens if we push it to its limit? Overheat, it dies. Choco, choco. Oh, you came in while I was um making the machine suicide. That's great. It's gonna fall all the way back down for it to um be normal again, right? Came at the right time, I say. Yeah. Also, we got three um we got three perfect Sundays in a row, in very quick su succession. Perfect means 100% for every single score. Is this back to normal yet? No. Still overheating. It's being a bit dramatic, isn't it? Oh, also, um... A what was I going to say? Right. Um... The guy who um, I communicate with Google Translate with, he, or 
or them, I don't know pronouns. They are so nice. They offered to um donate. They offered to donate more than um my top donor, aka bit user, which I think is cool. Ow, ow. Sorry, I think I heard my. I I think I audibly heard my spine crack. That just shows how dead I am. We need more waiting score improvements. Yes. Yes. Talking me a poster. We can have another small table for the, for my guests. You deserve more donors anyways. Honestly, I don't know. And I don't mind. It's not like I'm depending on this to like put food in my belly or something. Is that the saying? No, I think it's food on my plate. Oh well. Whatever shall we do with this one? We have so many posters. Oh, and we have our Takomiya poster, which we now have no place to put. Put item away. Put item away. We'll put on our Takomiya poster. And maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do something else. Belly plate is all the same. It ends up in the belly anyway. Yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Okay, this one, we can put this one away. Um, and I don't, th but I don't think that does anything. I might to be playing Tetris with this. Yo, yo guys, let's play Tetris. With our posters on the wall. Let's see if we can get every single poster we've bought to fit. Oh, the sound that it makes when you put the item away, it sounds like it's like some kind of wooden block rolling around on like a hard surface. Okay, so we've bought many posters. Let's put down the small table first. Uh, yay. It's more crowded now, woohoo. Let's put that back until we can get it less crowded. Right, so what we're gonna do, I think, let's put all the vertical ones like that and then we can put the pop up poster down there Calypso Island oh by vertical I mean all the very thin vertical ones Hmm. Okay, hold on. What are we going to do about this then? Oh. Here we go. Oh, wait, no. Not back to game. Not back to game. No, I've clicked the wrong one. Ah. No, no, no. Decorate lobby. Decorate lobby.
Wait, hold on. How much space do we have? We have a decent amount of space. Yeah. Okay. Are any of them kind of this shaped? Well, maybe we can move it like that. No, I don't think that makes sense. Or maybe it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wrong way, wrong way. <clears throat> Regular poster. Make it the medium. Oh, right, we can just do it like that. That's what I was thinking before. Surf shack. Small poster. Smooth poster. Cookie dough poster. Chunky poster, flip line studios poster, or we could have a yeah. Well, let's let's get our we love JoJo poster here. Oh, that would make a very awkward line. Um, Papa's Burgeria. Let's do it like that. Creamio, and we've set up everything. Yes, yeah, see, there is space. Y'all just can't find it. Or maybe I just can't find it. Um. There may be a wiser decision, which is to do this instead. Yeah, I think that looks more correct. Uh, let's move these back to their original positions that we can put down a table, another table, yes. And this is all to improve our waiting score. Back to game, continue, payday in one day. Let's get through to the next payday, shall we? There is an ad. I'm not sponsored by any of the ads that have shown up even for a brief second on this gameplay thing. Oh, banana syrup. We unlocked a syrup. We unlocked... Okay, so there's one more syrup to unlock. Large pineapple banana syrup. Oh, okay, so he's changing up his order slightly. Large, automatic, pineapple, banana. He really likes this like kind of tropical like fruits. Banana. Oh look at the speed that thing turns at. Uh you. She always does a medium cup. Strawberry. Strawberry. Normal mix. Who's the next customer that's gonna come in? It's totally fine as long as you don't push it directly to the limit. You are you a medium? Yeah, you are medium. 
I'll finish your order fast, please. Her, her order is always the same, and I think it's always been the same the entire time. Strawberry. And strawberry. I'm so used to the positions that these are in. This guy's got whipped cream, uh, strawberry. Da da da. And da da. The pineapple chunks are so in line and so perfect with each other. How is the mixing bad? Oh! Oh, did he order it chunky and I forgot to make it chunky? Maybe he made it- maybe he ordered it chunky. Oh well. Okay. Number two is this. That and a banana. Number three, which will be straight off the mixer, is this lady's order. Ma Maddie or Maggie or something. Da -da 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 -da. Sprinkles and three cherries. I hate the look of the three cherries. But here you go. Oh, Mandy. I keep getting all of her name. I, I keep getting her name wrong every single time. Okay. Order station. Two people at the same time. Oh, no, no. It's just her and then another person who's just walked in. Let's just make this first. These little buttercups and chocolate. Small marshmallow mint. Makes to chunky, medium, cookie, and chocolate. This, right. Okay, this one's ready, so let's serve this one first, since it's also pretty, um, oh, oops. I was looking somewhere else and I accidentally aligned it wrong. Ah, oh, well, it'll be fine. Here we go. Right. Uh, we've got whipped cream, chocolate, sprinkles. Sprinkles. Here.
Yay, star customer. We're getting so many like star customers during these times. Okay, let's take this guy's order and then work on the other and then work on these two orders. Uh launch. This thingy. This. <clears throat> oh. And then we can mix this up and we just wait. Lol, nobody redeem first. Yeah, no, nobody redeem first. Sometimes people just forget though. But congratulations, now you're first to stream even though you technically weren't. This one is a fancy order literally reaches the top of the line. You know you don't need to redeem check-in and first, right? Uh, this... Why is it coming out? Oh, here it is. I know, but it costs one point, so why not? Honestly, yeah, true. It just costs one point. Why hasn't this been charging? I have the charging thing put in. Do I accidentally disconnect it from its charger or something? No. Here we go, and we've got our day finished. We get upper rank. Oh, 525 more points. Okay. Payday is today, so shall we just complete today? We've got 70 bucks. We'll go to the furniture shop. We're buying more posters. Or whatever we bleh, bleh, whatever we can afford. <laughs> Anything to improve the waiting score. Look at all of this. We've bought all of this. Medium table or window? Let's get a win. Oh wait, no, that's on the wall. Oh, Ryu! Raid! Thank you! Hello, Ryu! Hi, peoples. You're watching me become a waitress. Yixian, hi, yes, hi, hi. Look at your VIP badge next to your name. I gave you that. Oh, emotes. That's cute. Oh my god. There's an animated one too. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, shiny. I'm buying a lot of tables to get myself, um, to get myself a higher waiting score because I keep leaving the customers randomly. I just abandon them. Here we go. Now we've got all three sizes of tables. Oh, here. Yeah. The tables are tabling. Yep. 
So now we've got all three sides of the tables and our wall is a mess. We are so good at this game, everyone. So hello, everyone. This, the duck that you're seeing is Sir Matthew the Third. I have four other ducks. I am too lazy to take them out and show them all to you, but they're named Morris, Peggy, Quack, um, and George. And yes, Quack, its name needs to be said like that every single time. It's, it's a requirement, it's not a preference. Um, I play a variety of games, and I have the world's hardest to pronounce name ever. That quack jump scared the hell out of me. Well, good. I should start making up for all the jump scares I've had to endure for you guys. Well, maybe not the people who are raiding and are new, but, um, I had to endure Five Nights at Freddy's so m so much. And it was painful. I'm scared of the dark and animatronics and ghosts and everything creepy. I see no issue here. Exactly. Quack is a very good name for a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Right. Um, so aside from becoming a waitress, becoming a night guard, I also become a variety of different things, including a ghost hunter with Ryu, actually, at one point. Um, and I was the one in the group that was the most scared ever. And at the same time, I was also the one that kept volunteering to go in with a parabolic mic because it got me really excited. And I was like, I get to hear the ghost. And then the, and then the ghost actually spoke to me and I screamed and ran out of there. I am the most hypocritical person you will ever meet Oh, there's an ad. Cool math games, I know you need to keep running. But maybe not so many ads, please. We got a new customer. Never mind, we got pay. 160 bucks. 160 bucks for working a week. That's like, oh God. Good times. Yeah, great times. The ghost spoke to me it was so bad. It was like, Oh, we should do that again. I think there was an update. Yeah, there was an update. I don't want to hunt a, sto a, a snowman ghost, okay? I don't want to hunt a sm da -da snowman ghost. Sorry, everyone. I also have trouble with English. I have trouble with English and Chinese, and both are my native languages. So now I do not have a single language that I do not have trouble in. I think... I, I think something in me is a bit broken i can however press this little timer thingy very accurately as long as there's no lag that makes it weird oh yeah he wanted the chunky blend so i like to shade these customers and get mad at them oh this one has a basic order Aussie's hunting a snow ghost. Do you guys even get snow? We get snow in places like Canberra, but honestly, Canberra is just Canberra. It's just not Aust It's like it, it is Australia, but Canberra is Canberra. It's not like Canberra is just Canberra. Let's just say that. Um, we've got the wrong order on the side. Here we go. That customer can wait. There's like a mountain in Melb that gets snow. Oh, yeah. Did you know, for my primary school trip, we were supposed to um go to Canberra and then COVID decided to happen. I was so like, I really wanted to go too. But yeah, there's like, oh, oh, we got a perfect order. Oh my goodness. Now you get to see my amazingness. This guy, Tony. They've all got like the most stereotypical basic names. Not the mountains, the um the customers. 
mountains in Australia. Oh, okay. You know, um, I learned this when I was on a trip, by the way. There's a mountain called Mount Kufa, and my parents, in Chinese, they call it Mount Underpants. Because it sounds like, um, because it sounds like, uh, underpants in Chinese, Kufa. I wonder if there's anything there besides the politics stuff. Yeah, exactly. I feel like Canberra is not really real at some, at some points of my life. I'm like, so you're telling me there's this place that decided to be the capital because Melbourne and Sydney were battling it out? But nobody really, really sees it as the capital. What? And there's nothing there aside from the politics, political stuff. Sounds like the desert, honestly. You, you want to know why the desert has political stuff? Because that's where you dump your competitors. No. Okay. No more. No more this kind of humor. Bad. Ah, blah, blah. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, literally is still either Melbourne or Sydney as capital, to be honest. Oh, you mean Canberra. Yeah, what did, what did you think we were talking about the entire time? When we say Canberra. Oh, oh no, it must be another city in Australia named Canberra. Why'd you pronounce it Canberra? Um, ain't that how you normally pronounce it? Canberra? Also, I say can. I don't say cam. Isn't that how it's said? Yeah, exactly. It's not Canberra. It's not Canberra. It's Canberra. I was saying Canberra my entire life. Oh, you know what? It's okay. I I used to say a lot of things. <laughs> but yeah, it's called Canberra. You might just also not have the Australian accent. European, sorry. Yeah, exactly. Ria, look at these Europeans. They do not understand the superior ways of the Australian pronunciation. I've lost track. What order did I last make this thing? Okay, so we need to make six and seven. Yeah, SMH, honestly. Exactly. Not just European, Balkan. Didn't you also have a bowl cut? So then you can say you've got a bowl cut and you're okay. No, I'm sorry. Our mixing station. These these Sundays are so needy. That's the worst part of Europe, allegedly. We are not cultured here. Hmm. What the fuck? I don't have bowl cut. You used to. Or was it mushroom cut? Either way. Either way, that was a terrible joke. I say the most awkward things. The slander is real. Rip Storzini, you send out for blood. Oh! Ow. Oh. You... You should hear what I say at school if you think this is me out for blood. I'm not sure I should say it on stream. I'll DM, I'll DM both of you what I said to this guy at school. It was like absolutely. He just died in front of the entire friend group. He was like, "Oh my goodness, I think he's avoiding me now." <laughs> but it's not really appropriate to say on stream, so I, so I'm just gonna be like, "No." I'm in such a good mood now. Now that I'm talking about literally, like, roasting people. I roasted that guy so bad. I think he's been avoiding me, seriously. Now I def want to know. I'll, I'll, I'll DM you. It's just not really appropriate to say on stream. All you gotta know is he, he was embarrassed. 
He was embarrassed to even approach me for a week straight. And then school ended. So if he hadn't, so if school hadn't ended, he probably would have been embarrassed for the entire term. I did some Australian trivia and saw your highest mountain is like 2,200 meters. Honestly, I don't think any of us really care about our mountains. I think, I think foreigners care about our mountains a lot more than we actually care about the mountain. Mount, cause I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. You pronounce that yourself. Sounds like a Japanese person named it. Did you know you just got censored? <laughs> you just got censored for like potential hate and profanity. Sounds like a Japanese person. The only important one is Uluru. Isn't Uluru not even a mountain? I'm not even sure what Uluru is at this point. Isn't it like a plateau thing? Anyways, th that those hard K sounds don't sound like um, they don't they don't sound Japanese. Japan never has um really harsh sounds. Sometimes, look, either way, it doesn't sound it really doesn't sound like a Japanese person named it. Okay, I think I think you might just be saying that because um. I don't know, honestly. It sounds like, it sounds like, <clears throat> it sounds like, um, it sounds like a European person named it. That Mount Koskiosko. Koskiosko. Look at that, Ryu. Doesn't that just look exactly like a European person named it? So it was called Mount Uluru. That's what I'm going off. Uh, we just always called it Uluru. I don't think it's like Mount Uluru, but you see, you see, we don't even know our own country at some points. The only important mountain is the one you can't climb. Uh, pretty much. I mean, like. The whole reason why it's important is like, oh, I've been leaving this customer alone for ages. Oh, it's the crazy lady. Right. Um, Uluru is really important, one, just because it's been advertised so much. It feels like every time you search Australia, you'll find a picture of it. Um, and two, because it's like, the these reasons are like, I'm not going to... Reason number two is more important than reason number one. It's um, of significance to the indigenous peoples of Australia. So yeah. Sounds like someone from Balkan named it. Exactly. So don't you be saying anything. Yeah, it's on brand for all these. Yeah, we don't, we just, we're just clueless about our own country. Oh, there's a spider that can kill someone in 15 minutes and it lives in people's backyards. Oh, didn't know that. Go back to your backyard, Timmy. This lady is X somehow accurate. People do be crazy on X. Honestly, she actually did. She actually does look like one of those crazy people on X. I wonder what her backstory is. There's an ad break. Do, 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 do. Australians have too much of a I don't give a fuck attitude, I swear. Yeah, honestly. It's like volcano volcano erupts and it's like Oh. Hot day, isn't it? <laughs> Forest fire and it's like we'll evaporate. Oh yeah, I left her at the order station for far too long. Oh well. 
Her backstory is she used to be a bird, a blue bird. Oh god. By the way, when I said evaporate, I meant evacuate, but I think evaporate might be actually more suitable. Why are there... There's so many ads, I swear. Hey, we're the creamio pros. Oh, you did? Yeah, when I said evaporate, I meant evacuate. Not that, oh great, we'll just eva evaporate. Look, I have troubles with Englishing, okay? I was like, oh, evaporate, sounds normal. <laughs> yeah, we're just like that. Lesson for you, Stolzini. If you encounter an Australian person, really don't don't expect them to really care about anything. We got a window. We can get a window. What point's getting a window, honestly? Freezer. That's where you can put some bot no. Calm. No bodies. No bodies. Yes, bodies. Let's let's get a freezer. So if you're friends of an Australian, you should expect them not to really care about you. I mean, like, I think I think people have told me like the most life changing things have happened to them, and I'm like, oh. That's sad. And not because I don't feel anything. It's just that, oh, we can't fit the window. What do we do about the window then? I got, I got it. Hold on. Wait, no, I don't got it. It's like they're, they're, they'll care about you. It's just that like, um, you hit me with Sag when I told you my house got broken into last time. No, no, it's, look, I thought, you know that that mattered. Okay. It's just that. I'm not sure that we really express it exactly accurately as what's going on in our heads. I, Australia is kind of just head empty all the time. It's like, oh, look at that volcano over there. Lots of smoke coming out. Yeah, mate. You know what? Let's just keep herding the sheep. It. Or whatever, whatever the people do, I don't know. It's 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 just like this, honestly. I I think that's why I don't think any like Australian born and raised here can really like, oh, there's an ad again. Can really be an Re a, a full on reaction streamer because I don't think our reactions are exactly accurate or like not fully you know what I mean oh my god we got chocolate cream we got, we got chocolate cream another thing to make me confused about woohoo There was this streamer who streamed while Earthquake was happening. Bet she, bet she was from Australia. We don't get many Earthquakes in Australia, you know that? I think, like, it went on the news when a small Earthquake was at, like, Adelaide or something. Adelaide's weird, man. Adelaide is just... Adelaide. There are... S Look. One thing you need to know about Australia. Some cities... I'm like, oh yeah, I know, I know Brad from blah 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 city. Oh yeah, cool city, blah 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 blah. Yeah, and then some cities when you mention that you live there or you've been there, they're like, oh, what happened? <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's like 
Some cities are just, oh hell no. Adel Adelaide is just weird. Melbourne's weird too, and Sydney's weird. Sydney's a little less weird than Melbourne. Melbourne's just weird. Mel Melbourne, okay. Melbourne is like... Melbourne feels like, to me, the America of Australia. And also it takes ages to drive anywhere. But then it's like, it's so disproportionate. You just name the biggest cities in Australia lol, so they're all weird. Yeah, every, every, every Australian city has its own little problems. Okay. Adelaide is weird. Melbourne is weird. Um, Brisbane is like the forgotten child of every single person ever. I don't know, man. Sydney feels like a simulation to me. Yeah, Sydney feels like a simulation. Melbourne feels like America. We're just we're just having an Aussie moment here, everyone. Don't mind us. Oh, oh, and Perth feels like it's a whole nother country. Perth feels like it's a whole nother country. I forgot that Darwin existed. Okay. <laughs> and um Why is Sydney a simulation? Oh bro, you gotta be here to know. You gotta be here to know. Also like I think the whole of Australia may be a simulation because explain to me how it takes like about couple hours to drive from Sydney to Melbourne, couple hours to drive from Sydney to Brisbane, couple hours to drive from Brisbane to Melbourne, you know, like chill. And then it takes like three hours to drive to that good kebab restaurant or kebab, I don't know how you pronounce it. Like it takes like three hours to drive to that restaurant. Oh, I forgot to build in my rantings about Australia. Like, the people there just don't feel real. Seriously. Like, you see a Sydney person and you're like, something's off about them. And like, yeah, seriously, how come my favourite restaurants are like two hours drive away and Sydney is like, I don't know, Sydney to Melbourne or Sydney to Brisbane. I forgot. It's like five hours. I don't know. It's like, how? It's so weird. Like the concept of distance is just so weird in Australia. Like you'll be you'll be driving. You'll be driving 40 minutes to the shops. I think it's Sydney to Brisbane. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I'm clueless about everything. Oh, Oh, I met this guy in primary school once. He felt like the most NPC Australian I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so... I don't know. He just feels so Sydney. And look, I, I, seriously, I, I seriously forgot Darwin existed. So, um... There's a good thing to add to to my resume, forgot Darwin existed. I'm keeping three customers waiting to talk about Australians and slander my own people. Bro, everyone does. Ah. This guy loves chocolate, my god. I love leaving um, customers waiting sometimes. Hey, and I only got, yeah. Why is it so forgettable, lol? Because Darwin is Darwin, mate. I sometimes even forget the Northern Territory exists. Like, the entirety of it. It's just forgettable. Four customers. Now we're leaving four customers waiting. Lol for real. I, for some reason, I always remember Western Australia and Perth. I just don't remember North, Northern Territory and Darwin. Oh, and one city we have not mentioned the entire time that we truly forgot, Hobart. <laughs> we 
forgot about Tasmania. <laughs> All oh, right, yeah, Tasmania, Tasmania feels like Sydney's child. S Tasmania feels like Sydney's child with Darwin, like it's inherited forgetfulness and NPC-ness because how are people in Tasmania real? People in Tasmania are not real. Like I can maybe believe a person from Sydney is real. How are people from Tasmania real? They're not real. I don't know what's going on with Australia at this point. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there's so many obscure villages in our country that nobody knows exist. I know one village is literally named Cough. Well, after the Pokemon. Maybe the members of the government are just really obsessed with Pokemon because ScoMo Skomo, I don't know what's going on with him now, but apparently he really likes Star Wars or something, or his daughter really likes Star Wars. It's just so weird. Also, also we lost the whole president. We're quirky like that. We seriously lost the whole president. <laughs> no, we seriously lost the whole president. He went, um... We just lost the president. He went fishing. Which is like, again, the the best way to go f missing. What do you mean lost? I'm telling you now, wait. So he he goes fishing, walks off, nobody ever sees him again, nobody re recovered. And we were just like, okay, we lost our president. No, we just seriously, we just lost our president. He just walked off and nobody ever saw him again. So yeah, that's... um. That's promoting our saneness to you. We're so sane, everyone. We're so sane. Never trust me to um operate a restaurant. Ever. But yeah, didn't we have a didn't we have a president who like shat his pants in McDonald's or something? A crocodile probably got him. Oh no, we don't have... Crocodiles only appear like in the very northern parts. I think he got lost somewhere else. I forgot where he got lost. You see, it should be like some kind of like nationwide like tragedy. No, we were just, we were just like, well, we lost him. Yeah, we, I don't think anyone's really like looked for him in years. Poor guy just got forgotten by his own nation. The only thing that we remember him by is that he got lost and we lost him. Poor guy. I don't know what's going on with ScoMo, by the way. ScoMo's just being ScoMo so far. People just go missing there on the regular or what? No, I think we just lost our whole president and that was it. Actually... Ryu, I... I'm not sure I've ever really heard of a missing person's case in Australia. Have you? I just heard about people dying and then- Oh, I forgot the chocolate chips. Oh, well. There's been a lot of missing cases. Oh, okay. Maybe- Maybe I'm just not Australian enough. And you don't bother to look if someone goes missing? Um... We try to, okay? We try to. It's just I think we just accepted that we lost that president. It's a lot of kids or teens. Don't go missing in Australia. Added to thing list of things not to do. Oh, yeah. Lots of kids getting lost in the bush. Yeah, yeah. I, I know now. I know now. I understand now. Getting lost in the bush is so scary, I swear. Oh, I had like a first aid course um, at school very recently. And like, it described all these scenarios and asked us to like do stuff. 
Um, during the CPR section of it, when we use like CPR dolls to um, like do CPR and practice CPR, yeah, I think somebody was like singing. They were singing. Oh right, never gonna give you up. They were gonna. They were singing. Um, they were singing. Never gonna give you up. Um, because you can do the um. You can do CPR to it, to the beat of it. Is bush a metaphor or something, or is it a literal bush? It's the literal bush. We call it the outback. It's like the bush. So yeah. Um. Also, our teacher made it like a requirement. He was like, if I don't hear you all singing, uh, stay in the life. Da 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 da. Stay in life. Stay in life or whatever. Uh, he was gonna fail us. <laughs> so we were all just there singing, staying alive, while staring at this creepy thing. But yeah, we call we call like um It's hard to explain the concept of the bush. The outback, the like the the the, the, the foresty bits and stuff. Or just the outback. We just call it the bush. Honestly, honestly, if you run, like, out into the bush, nobody would ever find you. How would they, right? So if you don't, if you don't want to stay in Australia, just, or, no, if you don't want to stay with Australian society, just, just go to the bush. Nobody's going to find you. How have we been, how have... How has Australia as a nation just lasted this long? I don't understand. Return to game. I find it so funny, Ryu, how you um you just um reacted to um us losing our president with three dancing dinosaurs. I think that just shows, like, <laughs> how much we don't care about this now. We just lost the president, never found his body, and we're like, that's good, mate. That's, that's, that's all good. That's fine. When I get sick of society, I'll just go to the bush. Yeah. If you go to the bush, honestly... If they have props fine, it's okay. Honestly, everything's okay. Life is good. I feel like if Australians were really very Australian online, we would all get cancelled collectively for being too Australian. Ah, you know ABC iView? I was, I was watching, um... I was watching Annika on ABC iView and they were like investigating this um they were investigating this crime they were at this crime scene it, it's a drama it's not an actual show it, it, it's a drama it's not an actual reality show and this one detective this guy Michael he's like um oh this poor fish of the victim hasn't been fed in days probably he takes out some fish food and just feeds it and then like just smells it and is like i think i gave the fish weed and then they proceed to just focus on the fish for like three minutes straight about how michael gave the fish weed <laughs> and i'm like this is the most random thing abc ivy has ever had on their entire thing they just focus for three minutes on the on the fish, and then and then Annika brought it home to her daughter, and she was like, "I think the fish is stoned." <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, I mixed it wrong again. Ah, my god. So yeah, they just fin they they just focused for three minutes on the fish that was stoned. 
And like the fish didn't even play a part in the crime. They just randomly decided let's let's spend let's spend quite a long time of our drama on the fish that is stoned. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Life is just life. Oh, the second customer is going to get his order first. Oh, well. I'm also just leaving two customers standing there. Oh, well. They can take care of themselves, read the menu. When life brings you down, you go down under. Or into the bush. Star customer, woohoo. Um, uh, mix station. We still got a little time, I guess we could take one order. Oh no, we don't. Come on. Can't overmix this one again. What's this? Oh, for F's sake. As I said, these Sundays are so needy. Oh, also, I think Australia might have the calmest national anthem ever. Like, I don't know, it's just like, it feels so calm when we're singing it. It's like, I'm singing about how much I love this country, but honestly, I think I don't really care about this entire thing. Please let us out of this assembly hall. We- I- I think it might just be the school influence, but it feels so calm when we're singing it. This makes me want a Sunday now, they look so good. Thank you. You should say compliments to the chef next time. Ah, we've got a backlog of orders. That anthem made me feel like a robot. Seriously, seriously. Also, in my, in, I, I moved around primary schools a bit. Uh, I had one major main primary school that I spent the majority of my time at, but for one primary school that I was at before, <clears throat> it was like, they, I was very young. They didn't give us the lyrics. So, um, and there's like multiple like, and also there's like the um, I am, you are, we are Australian. They also sang that one. And you know the line that was like, um, and from all the lands from where, where or which we come. Yeah. Um, I, a My Little Pony lover, heard that as, and from all the lands of Equestria, <laughs> the My Little Pony land. And I just sang that loud and proud every single time. I just sang about all the lands of Equestria. <laughs> it was only after they gave me the lyrics that I was like, oh. That makes more sense. Australia equals Equestria. No, it was, um, and from all the lands from where we come, or from which we come. I forgot exactly what it was. Dun, 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 dun. Also, how did they expect all of us to be like good singers? Because some of those notes were like fairly high. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. They just expect us to sing that regularly. That's not the official anthem, though. The official anthem is, like, also very high-pitched. Now, honestly, it's a very fresh thing. Um, it it's very fresh when you've been hearing, like, um, 
Oh, come on, mix station. It's very fresh when you always hear online um, the anthem of China and the Soviet Union, like the X, the X um, anthem of the Soviet Union, and um, and all of that other stuff. Because like China's anthem, it has like um, what does it have again? It's like we'll use our blood and flesh to build the Great Wall, and. I don't know about you, I find that a little bit concerning that that's in the anthem. I feel like I feel like a lot of anthems around the world are a little bit concerning to be honest. I feel like the Australian anthem is also very concerning at times. Everything's very concerning at this point. That is concerning. Yeah, honestly, everything's concerning about this world. Ryu, is it like really hot for you, um, wherever you are in Australia? Nightbot's been going insane with messages so far. Larger, this one's a fancy one. Oh, you guys have summer now, right? I always forget that lol. How do you forget that? Just take your own season and just opposite it. Oh, apparently it's 30. Doesn't feel like it. Really? Let me let me see apparently what mine is at. Hold on. All I'm seeing is USD up. Like that's not the news I want to hear, bro. I don't want to hear that. I don't, I don't want to hear that the USD to AUD conversion just got more tricky. Apparently it's 25? What the heck? Is that the area I'm in? Oh, my thing says severe weather, severe warning. Which one's severe, mate? Choose a choose a struggle, can you? Oh, now it's now it's gotten me to this. I'm not in this region. Get me out of here. Never mind, I am in this region. Never mind, I'm not. It says severe weather warning. Severe. Like. Thanks. Thanks for the added severe. Seriously, it just it just says severe weather warning. Dash. Severe. Like, we know. Thanks. It's negative three here right now. I'll trade you... I'll trade you six degrees. You can have three degrees. You can you can turn it you can turn that negative three into three into positive three. No, because like we got aircon on, right? And my mum she puts aircon at twenty six degrees. Like, who puts it at 26 degrees? So you end up with 19. Yeah, 19 or 20, depending on how the day goes. That's, like, comfortable when you're indoors. Maybe not so comfortable when you're waking up. You want to be warm. Yeah, but who puts the aircon at 26? Why even have aircon if you put it at 26? Yeah, um... And then I put it down to 25.5. My mom had it on yesterday and um and she said uh and she said it's at 25 and I was like, can't we go down just one degree to 24? And she's like, no, 25. Otherwise the rest of the house is too chilly. Because we don't have individual aircon, we just have a whole aircon system around the house. Um, and we turn certain rooms off and on, but we can't like choose the specific um We can't choose the specific Temperatures for each room Too chilly at 24 mate Yeah, um In China our things are a little bit skewed. Let's just say that okay? 
because the highest compliment in China for dessert is that it's not very sweet. Yeah, I expected this. I kept him waiting for so long. Oh god. At least he tips still. All of them tip. Maybe they, maybe these peoples, maybe these peoples are who America should learn from, apparently according to their tipping culture. I don't get tipping culture, just pay your, just pay, just pay your workers a living wage, mate. Like, what is up with that? <clears throat> I'm dying. Uh, today's service. I don't see today's service. Today's tips. Oh, we have more money. We have so much money. American employees to the customers. No, you pay our workers. Ah. What a time to be alive. We can have a newspaper stand. Have them read so they're, so they're not illiterate. Decorate lobby. This might be the longest Papa's Freezeria game. No, Papa's Freezeria stream. Oh, no, I don't want the window. Papa's Freezeria stream that I've had in a while. News. We can have news. Woohoo. Sometimes Australia feels like a simulation. <laughs> oh, we can buy some stuff. Does that mean you aren't real? May I'm an anim anime girl on the internet with a duck on my shoulder, okay? What do you think? We've got a picket fence, quaint and cozy. That's the most British thing I've ever heard. Um, anchors away, very bad pun. Tropical punch looks like it's an alcoholic. Anyways, um... Keep customers in mind, no. Oh no, Papa with this solid gold bust. Wow. Large flag, small flag, a medium flag. Let's get a large flag. Oh, we can buy a cute little small flag too. Oh, we're buying a small flag. This is, this is how I would spend my money. purchase yeah this is why you shouldn't let me in a Costco with money why they got so many ads bro we don't like ads skip the ad Sasha or Sasha or whatever this lady's name is Yum and M's with the X logo. Oh my god, Elon Musk's taken everything. Oh, we've got to fly our little flags. Can we place it down now? Also, we we have the Alberto. Alberto Oh my god, we still have so many customers to unlock Well, it'll be all right Star customer, yeah Back to game Take your order. We'll fly the small flag later. 
Oh, she wants the yum and ms Chunky blend. Build station small. Ice cream. We've unlocked all the mixables and I feel so happy and fulfilled. Oh, she's reading the news! Oh my goodness. I didn't know that they would actually interact it like it. You don't sound it. What did I say? Sorry, I have like a three second memory of what I say. Um, you gotta remind me what I said. Like, I can remember, um, I can remember stuff on text. So easy. I just forget, I just forget what I say all the time. Because honestly, if I, if I remembered all of the things I say during stream, they would haunt me forever. For real, she sounds so dead lol. Oh, I always sound dead, don't worry. We unlocked all the unlockables, I'm so- Oh. That. Yeah, no, I am fulfilled. It's just like, I don't know. I might be tired and hungry. But I persevere. I am in pursuit of more money. Constantly. Money! Oh, oops. Oh, well. Money! Oh, um, it was recently the end of school and they, the school decided that we were all depressed. So they just put us in like a program meant for us to overcome our digital addiction. I think the school put us in rehab for a day. But anyways, they had a week program that was like, um, oh my God, thank you for the hundred bits. I wasn't asking for that kind of money, mate. But thanks. Right. Ugh. I don't know what to say sometimes when people give me money. I'm like, why? What's the point? Right. Do you want to keep hearing the story about how the school put us in digital rehab? <laughs> they had a... They had a um program for the last week of school and it was just basically rehab. Um and yeah. So I forgot what I was even going to say. What did the school make? All oh, right, and on the last day we had to clean up the school. Like mate, you you have you pay your cleaners for this. Don't make us steal their jobs. Um, yeah, and the school just decided we're all depressed and we all had to overcome our digital addiction. Woohoo. And we, we had a lot of very uncomfortable lessons. Ryu, did you, did you have those when you were in school? Did you have them? Oh, up there, there. Where was this from? Did I make- I made two of the same thing, dang. Okay. I've forgotten everything I wanted to say. Let me think back to the rehab days. Oh yeah, going through rehab did not make me any more mentally stable. I am no- I- I am no- I am not mentally stable. That is a fact. Mm, uncomfortable lessons. Yeah, never about being chronically online though. Oh, I had to, um, I won lollies for publicly announcing that I spend 87 hours a week online without including school time. 
I think it was the highest of the entire grade. Um, we also had full on lessons, like I mean actual full lessons on consent. And our teacher gave us a very, very long talk about a lot of uncomfortable topics. And we were all, we were all, the thing is like, because different teachers lead it, right? Different teachers lead a small group of students. So the other classes, the other classes, they were playing games. They were having fun. We were here learning about consent. And we had to listen to very uncomfortable things the entire day. And it was absolutely terrible. If it didn't count to attendance. I, my attendance was terrible because I was sick for ages uh, this term. If it hadn't counted to attendance, I would not have attended any day in the last week. Because seriously, it's like pain. But yeah, they made us try- they made us admit our digital addiction and gave lollies to the people with the lowest and the highest, um, hours online per week. And the thing is, right, they had us do it in groups. I was the only one without a group because I wanted to be alone. So all the other groups had like an average, like there was not one person to take the whole blame of it. And then it was just me being um, chronically online. Yeah. Ah, good days. There's only 168 hours in um in a week, by the way. They gaslighted you into admitting you were chronically online. Oh no, I was not gaslit. Uh, they would they they just had that as an activity. We just calculated how many hours we go online a week. Uh, they told us not to include school. The other classes were told to include school. And, um... Yeah. So anyways. Uh, I think my eyes are gonna be broken. Eventually. One day. Oh, we got 50 bucks. Woohoo. Okay, I think I know what you guys mean by she sounds so dead. I do sound very dead. I sound very dead a lot of the time. Now is that a good thing? I don't know. How have I gained 81 people who care about me with my dead voice? It just clicked now. Look. Look. I have a problem with delusion, okay? She just gained sentience, for real. Yeah, for real, I'm just I'm just a social experiment and every dollar you donate to me, you just make me more powerful and stronger. Soon I will have a live 2D model and I will come to terrorize all of you. One day. No, but seriously, I've just I've just begun work on um live two D. I will, I will announce. Well, okay, kind of. Um, I will announce that properly on Twitter. After I t tell you all the amazing story of how I got that guy to be so ashamed. Let's see what happens then when you get more powerful. Oh my god, bro. Bro, you just admitted publicly that you got broken into. You don't have this money. Use it to fix that window. Before you tell me I've gained sentience, maybe you should gain some financial management skills. I'm insured. Don't worry, lol. Mm. You sure the insurance won't decide to screw you over? Wrong one. Uh, use it to pay for therapy for yourself. Or your dog. Whichever one's more traumatized. 
But anyways, thank you. Um, I will become more powerful and I will come to terrorize the entire world with my dead voice. Out the sh shut up. This alarm always ruins the moment. I'm glad though because now I don't now I don't have to keep going back and checking everything. Okay, last two Sundays. I can do it. Never before have I gotten sent to therapy for a dono. Well, you can use it. Um, you, you, you can use it to, I, I don't know. I'm just saying you have better uses for that money than donating it to an internet anime girl and her duck called Sir Matthew the Third, okay? These alarms are so annoying, come on. little marshmallows strawberry and then it's the last it's the last sunday i forgot the closer that ordered this who is it i really don't okay well i'm just gonna let you know that i managed to trick my sister into giving me two bucks in return for one buck so um yeah Okay, so the story of that, the story of that is, um, she thinks the $1 coin and the $2 coin are shiny golden coins. Like, she really likes them, and she's like, wow, shiny golden coin. <gasps> but the $2 coin is actually smaller than the $1 coin. So I was like, how about I give you this bigger coin this bigger shiny coin for your smaller shiny coin and she was like yes so i scammed her woohoo we are now a peanut buddy i'm not sure what that's supposed to mean so let's quickly gloss over it we have 153 bucks what do we do with the 153 bucks Shall we make make? Shall we order some cop? Hold on, I'm gonna get a drink. Shall we get a stand of comic books? Yes, we shall, for the sole purpose of seeing them. Or we'll just do it, and we'll fly the flags. Hold on. Drink water. Oh, come on, I just did that. You mean? Comics. This is looking very strange. Large flag. Oh my god, it's in the middle of the walkway. Small flag. I didn't know the small flag was going to be this big, okay? Hold on one second before we declare the independence. Here is the water. It's sloshing. I drink it. Done. And now we declare the independence of this Sunday store from the rest of society. Praised be the founder of this... No. Praised be the worker of this establishment, Alberto. A social experiment controlled by Isien and, and Mr. Sir Matthew III. ECN is potentially also controlled by QUACK! And now we declare the independence. Payday in three days. Shall we go to payday? We've already been streaming for two and a half hours. Oh goodness. People are so, people must think I'm a great and benevolent leader. I, they, they, they have constantly been feeding me, um, channel points 
for leading them to success. For every channel point you spend, you only make me stronger and stronger. Soon, I will dominate the entire world. It's 8.30pm, I haven't eaten dinner, I'm hungry, but who cares actually? Posture check, oh right, I need that, hold on. Yeah, alright. Posture checked. Look at these. This is now like the messiest Sunday store ever. We've been playing for an ungodly amount of time, but we will keep playing for an ungodly amount of time. I'm meant to be eating dinner, but I will not for the sake of making Sundays for other people. Those flags are literally blocking off the customers, lol. No, they aren't. See, she can walk past it just fine. Shall we ride to the Declaration of Independence? We shall be like Alexander Hamilton. We got the Elon Musk brand, um... We got the Elon Musk brand M&Ms. They're actually reading the news, oh my goodness. This guy... Oh, sorry, that's my computer's charger. I sometimes abuse it for fun. Elon M's. No, so don't do that. It sounds like... It sounds weird. It sounds like it's some kind of product made from Elon Musk. I'm not sure how comfortable I am of that. Oh, chill out, Mixing Station. Mixing Station is always so needy. McElon's. That's McDonald's, mate. That's Macca's. That ain't M&M's, it's Macca's. Although I do, um, there is a... There is a McDonald's, Macca's, whatever you call it. There is a Macca's um, dessert called the McFlurry, which you can choose to have M&M's inside of it, I think. I can't believe so many people are so insistent on watching me provide Sundays for all of these people. Or maybe you are all just attracted by my wonderful personality. Surely this sweet internet anime girl cannot be taking over the world secretly. I am the nicest person in the world. The Sundays hit hard. Yeah. But you know what hits harder? A sledgehammer. Yeah, no, we just want Sundays. Oh. You don't want the freezer with the bodies in it? I feel, I feel like my dead voice is actually very good for this little concept I'm putting on of, um, bodies in the freezer. <laughs> because it sounds so wrong, but it sounds so right. That can't be. The what in the what? The bodies in the freezer. Like the strawberries. Like the Maccas. The Maccas all come from- oh, oops, I forgot, I already made that. Trash. What are those cookies made of? Cookies. Ew. 
if if you had to if you had to ask me though what I think looks most like blended up human I think this Oh, I forgot about this one. That's okay, that customer will have to deal with it. Small, so that lady won't get a heart attack and be the next body in the freezer. These marshmallows could just be bits of human teeth, you know? So we're blending people now. When have we not? Technically, every time you use a blender, there's been some of your DNA cells or whatever body cells in there. So, you've always been blending up human. I just have to maybe be a bit careful that Twitch TOS doesn't get me. I'm not sure exactly how, um how okay joking about this is to Twitch. It might kill me. Disclaimer for Twitch peoples. There are not actual bodies in the freezer. I am an I am a sane person who would never do that. I just realized I sound very unconvincing. Um, there are no bodies in the in-game freezer. This is not a violent game. I am simply making scientific <laughs> references to the color of the strawberry jam. Yes. I honestly actually don't know, never thought about that. Well, now we all get to think about it. Wrong one. Oh god. Yeah, this one, so this lady doesn't get a heart attack. Now you just sound like a TTS prompt. How do you even do the TikTok voice? There's bodies in the freezer. Now I sound like Dora, oh my god. <laughs> I gotta stop, I gotta stop. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? I just today brought more- uh, brought. Brought. I just today bought Mortuary Assistant. Oh. Yeah, I talk a lot about this stuff and then I don't have the guts to um, play stuff like that. I am naming myself the most easily terrified horror game streamer because I am. And yet I do things like this that make people question their sanity. Grammy. Wow. I am scared. I am scared that everyone is raising the goal for um, 420 mode in FNAF 1 so fast. I am scared of all of you. But not as scared of all, as all of you will be of me. You know, I was watching like a K-pop, like K-pop shorts and K-pop TikTok and stuff. And it's like, um, what was it? And it's like, um, wait, do we already have to blue brew on? No, why did I make that one first then? Um, and it's like, what was it? So somebody's like, um, oh, I forgot. What was it? What was I talking about? Right, and it's like, why does insert K-pop idol not have any media training lol? Why is she saying this stuff on on live streams? And then one person just answered, she, it's not that she doesn't have media training, she's just Australian, and I fully agree with that, you know? I'm psychotic, I get scared easily, but I still love horror games. Same! I just charge into Phasmophobia with a, with a parabolic mic. 
If there wasn't a 2k per stream limit, we'd already hit that goal. Oh, goodness. I only got 1.3. Mmm. Yeah. I was thinking of making some, like, better goals that are, like, cheaper. Like, a lot of them that are super cheap. This one... But I need, like, suggestions. So that I don't, like, have to get up to do push-ups every... Every stream. 500 times. I think I put a limit on the amount of times you can redeem push-ups. Every time we have a good moment, this alarm just ruins it. It's like, hey, hey, I'm a party pooper and I know it. How about you do some right now? No. Did you redeem it? Is it in the reward requests queue? Oh, say any word from 15 days ago. I'm going to mark that complete and we're done. I'm not doing push-ups right now. Push-ups is 3,000. Oh, first time that it's been perfect timing actually. Push-ups. Great. Thanks. One second, I'll finish this and then I'll go and do push-ups on the very crowded floor. Goodbye. Goodbye for like a few seconds. I'm tidying. My room's floor is like so crowded. Ow, I can't even put my elbows out, oh my goodness. I'm living in a pigsty. Okay, I'm done. Ow, I just stepped on a hexaflexagon. Yeah. Oh, we've gone from a peanut buddy to a cherry chap. Great. I'm so happy. Ah. That water in my water bottle is old. It doesn't taste good. That was five or yeah, I do speed push-ups. Come on. I did one and then my elbow whacked the um books, the stack of books, and I had to do the other four in a different location. Oh, right. Um, we need stuffs. How about we get the quaint and cozy picket fence? Quaint and cozy. Picket fence, quaint and cozy. We need to leave some room for the, um, we need to leave some room for the flags. Back to game.
Shall we play a little while longer? Do you think quaint in Australia? It's a very British word, I feel like. Not really, we don't really say it. Mainly because nothing in Australia is really quaint. It's more chaos. That's a British thing, yeah. Continue. Or should we not continue? I'm feeling tired. Yeah, no. This ad's also getting to me. Also, I don't want you to have the chance to do another set of push-ups. Or to make me do another set of push-ups. Let's go raid someone. Thank you, Ryu, for the raid today. Uh, let's raid... Up to you, but also go eat. Yes, I will. I will. Let's raid. Um, we've raided this person before. X Kiseki, who is playing Overwatch Two. Let's go and raid. I think they're having some troubles with their stream. Maybe. Oh, there's an ad break. Okay, yeah. Let's start the raid. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will quickly go ahead and die. I'm just kidding. See you all on the other end. They're having stream troubles, so please give them some time. Yeah. Goodbye, peoples.